Hi, my name is Dr. Daniel Cantor, and I'm an MS neurologist from Ponte Vedra, Florida. I want to talk to you a little bit today about what the role of the neurologist is in the diagnosis and treatment of primary progressive MS, or PPMS. So neurologist deals with the nerves, which means the brain and spinal cord, and the MS neurologist really focuses on the brain, the optic nerves, which lead to the eyes, as well as the spinal cord. Primary progressive MS is often harder for us to diagnose than relapsing or remitting. We also have to think about the different treatment options. There are now currently FDA-approved medications for relapsing or remitting MS, and unfortunately, there aren't yet approved medications for primary progressive MS. However, with that said, there's a lot of research going on. And at every research meeting I've been at, our neurologists, we raise our hands and we shout out, when are we going to get more medicines for primary progressive MS? So you and your family aren't alone. All of us in the MS community are trying to look for other treatment options. Besides trying to change the course of PPMS, we also think about treatment options. And that's where the neurologist might direct care to physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech and swallow therapists, as well as to other types of doctors, like bladder specialists who are called urologists. So the MS neurologist is there to stand hand in hand with the MS patient and their family or care partners. There's a lot more research going on, there's a lot more hope going on, and we're going to see treatments for primary progressive MS in the future. If you have any other questions about primary progressive MS or anything to do with multiple sclerosis, please don't hesitate to contact